morning. Hey y'all and welcome back to my little corner of the internet. My name is Lilith and for today's video, since we're all socially isolating, I thought I would hang out with y'all for my birthday. That's right, today is my birthday. It is April 4th. We are smack dab in the middle of social isolation, but we're still gonna have, we're still gonna try and have a good day. This morning, I've already been up for like an hour, just cuddling in bed, and my partner gave me a massage, so already a good start to the day. And I think now we're gonna do some yoga, and then we've got a few other things planned for today, and I'll take y'all along with us so we can hang out together. Okay, just finished leading my partner through a long, deep yoga stretch and maybe a little bit of torture. <laughs> and now I'm gonna go get ready for the day. So this is my outfit of the day. Probably gonna wear it with some heels. Yeah, even though I can't go out and do stuff, I still dressed up. I still wanted to look nice and feel nice on my birthday. This is what my makeup looks like. And as soon as we're done getting ready, we're gonna go get my free Starbucks birthday drink and go to Wheatsville and try and find something delicious. These are my shoes with this outfit. I think I can count the number of times on one hand that it has not rained on my birthday. Because it's just that time of year, I guess.
y'all. This is how long the Starbucks drive through line is because this is the only Starbucks that is open around here. We, this is the second one we had to drive to because the first one we drive, we went to, Google said was open, but it was not open. So here we are waiting in line to get up to that Starbucks. Just for my free birthday drink. I would like a large French vanilla latte with an extra shot. Um, all right, with almond milk? Uh, with almond milk. Actually, do y'all have oat milk? We do not. We have all the coconut and soy. Okay, almond milk, please. All right, what else? I'm gonna do the same thing, but with coconut milk. Coconut back. milk. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You as well. Ooh, coconut, coconut milk, French vanilla latte. We pretty much always get French vanilla. I thought about getting something else, but then I couldn't decide, so I just went with my normal drink, which is not super special for a birthday, but you know what? It's a delicious drink, so I'm happy. Now we're off to find donuts. It really is an adventure in this time, because we can't go to our normal donut place. We actually have to go find donuts. We have to see if we can find vegan donuts anywhere in town, so. That's today's adventure. Okay, so I think I said this earlier, but Voodoo Donut is closed, which is the one place that I wanted to go to on my birthday. And since they're closed, we are going to Wheatsville. We're here at Wheatsville because they usually have vegan donuts. I don't know if they're actually gonna have any today, but we're gonna try. I'm really hoping they do. And if not, we're gonna have to find something else because I've been craving donuts and I really want some birthday donuts. Okay, let's go inside and see what they got. Do they have them? They do! They do! They have donuts! They have donuts! Oh my goodness, yes! I'm so happy. I want all of them. I want one of each. I need your help. You can't help me carry them. Maple. And coffee. We share. And chocolate. I like regular glazed. And, and chocolate. And daddy's barbecue tofu. Is that, is that all of them? We didn't get vanilla glazed. They're gonna be like, what the fuck? It's like, we have our priorities in order. <laughs> Don't worry about us and our priorities. <laughs> Prepackaged. I was wondering how they were gonna do that with the whole grab section, but prepackaged works. I wish we could have them all in one box, but, and not waste so much plastic. But, we gotta live with what we gotta live with. What kind of tofu do you want? That one looks extra crispy. <laughs> Barbecue tofu? What else are we doing? See, like this kind of stuff was by like backup. Oh man. Yeah, I see no burger. No, but they have a um, popcorn tofu tofu. Po po boy. What's he gonna choose? Are there ranch ones? Where it says, yeah, there. I can't touch it. Are you good? Hi, how are y'all? I'm all right. I don't know if that's enough donuts. So it's my birthday and I wanted voodoo donuts and they're closed. Oh, but we have them. Yes. <laughs> so Thank you. I just knew y'all had vegan donuts, so I was like, we have to go there. Yeah. 
<laughs> Yay! Our donut adventure was a success. I was worried that they wouldn't have them because usually that section, you know, you like grab things and put them in paper bags. I wasn't sure if they were going to have them or if they were going to have that baked goods section even open, but it was open, so we got one of each donut. Yay! Donuts! Now we're going to go home and chill and paint and I don't know what else, but I'm going to relax at home, try and do some fun things. So if I remember correctly, that one's vanilla with chocolate sprinkles, chocolate with rainbow sprinkles. This one is maple. This one's just chocolate. This one is coffee. This one is orange, I think. I'm not sure, but we're about to find out. I haven't had donuts since like probably October. They are a special treat that I don't get to eat very often. So I'm super excited. Of course, we're not gonna eat all of these donuts. I just set them up to take a pretty Instagram picture. Whatever we don't eat, we'll save for later. All right, which one should I try? Which one should I start out? I actually have tasted all of these before, except for that one and that one, I think. Cause I have gotten donuts at Weedsville before. Hmm. Should I start out with the coffee one to go with my coffee? Decisions, decisions. What do you think? I think the, I think sprinkles are very birthday, so sprinkles. Rainbow sprinkles? Rainbow sprinkles. Okay, let's do this. Hmm. These donuts are pretty good. I'm very happy. I'm gonna sit here and eat and watch TV and relax. I'm going to paint because one of the things I love to do is art and I've been wanting to try a painting technique. So that is what I'm gonna do. Okay, so we chilled at home for a little bit, watched TV. I got all my paint stuff out. I was getting ready to paint. I was starting to do tests of the thing I wanted to do and then we looked up and realized it's already time to go grab dinner. Originally, we were planning on going to Uchi because it, that is a fancy sushi restaurant here in Austin that I've been wanting to try. But because of the situation, we are getting it to go. So we're gonna bring it home. They actually have a really cool system set up because it's kind of a, a nicer restaurant where you put a reservation in online and then 30 minutes before your reserve time, they call you to take your order. And then you show up at whatever like your reservation time was and they bring your food out to your car. So that's what we're doing. We're going to pick up sushi right now and then we're gonna come back home and I'm actually gonna get to paint probably after we eat sushi because I'm excited to try the sushi. And I'm glad that I still get my fancy sushi dinner even if it is us sitting at home, but hey, I sit at home, it means I don't have to wear pants, so. Which one's really better here? That was really nice. You just like pulled up, told them the name, and then the guy brought it out and like put the order in our back seat. Like, that was super easy and really good service. I know things are difficult out there, I understand. I am a restaurant worker. We out here tried, we out here doing our best to get people good food, quick, with good service, at least some places. I applaud all the restaurants out there that are taking their normal good service and translating that to pick up orders and to go orders and deliveries and all of that. I'm excited to try this sushi now. It's so rainy and foggy today. The city looks really cool. Okay, this is our spread. It looks so good. It smells actually kind of fishy and weird, but I'm excited to try it. So. This is the chef special roll, which is just like whatever vegetables are in season. So I think they said this one has avocado, cucumber, and pickled carrots. We got two orders of sushi rice, avocado roll, 
this sauce actually came with that, with these rolls. Um, we got a fried tofu thing. I don't remember what any of this stuff is called. Um, a cold mushroom thing. Two pieces of fancy avocado sushi. Fried Brussels sprouts. And this cute little packet of wasabi. And pickled ginger. This is gonna be so good! I'm so excited! So my camera battery kind of died while I was trying to film myself painting, but this is what the painting looks like. It is, it's okay. It's not the best, but it, I was testing. I was trying a new technique that I saw that I really wanted to try, and I think it turned out all right. Yeah, now we're chilling, watching TV, and I'm gonna take my makeup off because I was starting to get makeup in my eye. And it's nighttime, comfy time now, so it's time to wash all this off so I, my face can be nice and comfy. Also, wow, I am just realizing how messed up my lipstick got after dinner. Man, I look like a crazy person. I realize I look like a crazy person right now, but this Lush Bar takes my makeup off better than anything. It's also great if you don't have a lot of time because it is a face wash and a moisturizer all in one, so my face is actually really smooth and moisturized now as well as, as a really good makeup remover. Usually I would wash my face with one of their face wash bars and then moisturize, but when I wear makeup, I just use the all-in-one bar because it works as a makeup remover, moisturizer, and face wash. It's really quick and easy, and I do feel like that bar um, melts away pretty quickly, so it's not something I want to waste every single day. That's why I only use it when I wear makeup leaving my, fa my face feeling fresh, clean, and moisturized. All right, time to go relax on the couch a bit more and then head to bed. We gotta clean the kitchen. <sighs> the one time my birthday falls on a Saturday and we're all quarantined. But you know what? I'm not getting hung up on it. I still had a good day. I still got donuts and ate sushi and painted and did yoga and hung out with my partner, which I'm so grateful to have him during all of this. I'm so grateful to have somebody to be there with me, even though I know he's probably even happier to have me around because I'm an introvert. I've lived alone. I like living alone. And he is not. But it is nice to have somebody through all this. Mm. I'm so tired. It is probably... It is about 11 o'clock at night, which I know is not that late. And I was like, oh, cool. We can stay up late tonight because it's Saturday. Tomorrow's Sunday. We don't have to work. We can hang out late for my birthday. But if there's anything I've learned in the past two days is that even if I try and stay up late, if we're on the couch watching TV, I will fall asleep by 10.30. So I've learned this weekend that I'm growing up 
I cannot just stay up late because my body will not let me. I'm 24 now and I go to bed early and I get up early, even on the weekend sometimes. This is actually really quite late for me. I don't think I can stay awake much longer. <laughs> oh, and if you're wondering why it's red, it's because we turn the lights in the bedroom to red while we're getting ready for bed at night to help us wind down. And it helps your brain like start to get ready to sleep and helps you like start falling asleep. Something about blocking out the blue light. I don't know. I'm too tired to like go into that right now, but I will leave some links down below for a podcast about red light. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for my birthday, quarantine birthday, April babies. We got to stick together. My partner's an April baby too, but his is at the end of April, although we'll probably still be quarantined. So maybe we'll do a birthday vlog for him so he can hang out with y'all. Let me know down in the comments if that is something y'all would like. Actually, my partner's birthday is in April. My grandma's birthday is in April. My grandpa's birthday is in April. I'm so worried about them because my grandma still has to go to work. My grandpa hasn't worked in a long time, but my grandma still has to go to work. And they're old and my grandpa's fragile and I'm worried about them. But they're doing all right right now. They're staying safe. He's staying home. Although apparently on April Fool's Day, they pranked my mom and told her that like, and told her that my grandma had the virus and like my grandpa apparently couldn't hold the joke for very long because he ended up just like he ended up like telling her it was an April Fool's joke pretty quickly but I thought that was really funny that my grandma pulled my grandma and grandpa pulled an April Fool's joke on my parents that was really funny and I think there's a couple other April babies in like my family and extended family and friends circle yeah, there's a lot of us in April. So, we gotta stick together, but far apart, hang out virtually, and still try and have great birthdays. Just do it from home. And hey, you can still go out, get nice food from a restaurant, and then eat fancy expensive sushi in your underwear. Just saying. Like, that's pretty, that's a pretty great birthday, I think. All right, thanks for hanging out with me, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this birthday vlog and our quest for donuts. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Hit the like button and share this video with other April babies so we can hang out together. And hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you know when I post a new video. Cause I know some of us are running a little short on content, I know I am. I sit on YouTube and I scroll for like five minutes looking for something to watch until I finally like scroll back up to the top and settle on like the second thing I looked at that I just kind of went, eh, let's see if there's anything better and there wasn't anything better. But also that's how I found the art video to make the painting. I saw it start playing in my recommended and I was like, that was really cool. I think I can do that. So I watched it and then I went down a small art rabbit hole. Okay, I digress. I'll see y'all next time. Thanks for watching. I am the vegan rainbow. Bye, y'all.